Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Important Concepts in Osmosis. All right, so if we take a look at our diagram, what we have is a two-ended glass figurine, and it has a membrane right in the middle. And so this orange membrane is selective, meaning that it only lets certain things through. So we have two things in our system. We have water, so this is a solution of mostly water, and then our pink dots are going to represent sugar molecules. So sugar molecules are much bigger than water molecules, and our membrane is going to let the sugar molecules get over to the right-hand side, but it's not going to let them get back. So once a sugar molecule has traveled over here, it can't get back, but water can go both ways. So we have our low concentration side with only a few sugar molecules, and we have our high concentration side with a lot of sugar molecules. So because of equilibrium, our sugar molecules are going to be constantly traveling. So these guys will be going back and forth, and so will these guys. But the ones that are over here are stuck. They can't get back. But these can freely pass through this side of the membrane. So after a while of equilibrium, all of these pink sugar molecules will have gone over to this side. And now they're pretty much trapped here. They can't go back to the other side. And even though the water molecules can freely enter and leave both sides, the membrane here is partially clogged up with sugar molecules that are stuck. So water has a hard time leaving this side, even though it will enter freely. And as a result, the water levels will change. So the left-hand side will be significantly lower than when it started, and the right-hand side will be significantly higher. And so even though at first the water levels were about equal, now they're very different. And it's all because of this membrane, which lets certain things in and not certain things back, thus changing the equilibrium of water enough to really affect the levels. And the only way to get them back to the same would be to have forced pressure on this right-hand side, smashing it back down and squeezing those water molecules through. But naturally, it wants to do this, and this is the process of os osmosis. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Important Concepts of Osmosis. Mm -hmm.